fellow Hadley residents, distinguished guests, and esteemed members of the school community. It is truly an honor to stand before you today as we celebrate a monumental achievement for our beloved Hopkins Academy and the Hadley Public School District. As we gather here on this auspicious occasion, I am reminded of the remarkable journey that has brought us to this moment. In a town as close-knit as ours, where every voice is heard and every hand is eager to contribute, it's no surprise that we stand united today celebrating the fruition of a dream that began nearly two days, decades ago. Here in Hadley, where commitment to our youth runs deep and the spirit of community is woven into the fabric of our daily lives, we consistently defy expectations. With a population that might be considered small by some, we prove time and time again that greatness knows no bounds. From the hallowed halls of Hopkins Academy to the fields where our young athletes chase their dreams, we have always strived for excellence. Our academic accolades speak for themselves. And they speak volumes about the dedication of our educators, and the thirst for knowledge within our students. And on the athletic front, our young men and women continue to astonish us with their prowess, bringing home state titles and etching their names into the annals of sport history. But behind every triumph lies a story of collaboration and unwavering support. From the earliest days of childhood play in our park and rec programs to the fierce competition of our Hadley Calrican Youth Leagues, our community comes together to nurture, talent, instill values, and shape the leaders of tomorrow. It's the parents who become coaches, the businesses that become sponsors, and the leaders who pave the way for future generations. Together, we build a legacy of excellence that transcends the present moment. And today, as we stand in awe of these newly constructed fields, we must take a moment to express our deepest gratitude for those whose vision and tireless efforts made this dream a reality. To our past school committee members who embraced the endeavor knowing it wouldn't come to fruition while they were in service. Tracy Kelly, Jim Mahalik, Tom Weskovitz, Roby Grant, Linda Dunlavey, Molly Keegan, Sean Mackin, Keith Shannon, Heather Klesch, and to our current members, Paul Pfeiffer, Tara Brueger, Ethan Percy, and Christine Pipchinski. To our select board members, Joyce Chungalo, Randy Iser, Molly Keegan, Jane Nevinsmith, Amy Parsons, as well as to past select board members, David Phil, John Weskovitz, Christian Stanley. Thanks goes to members of our PTO, including Leanne Cook, Christine St. Hilaire, and Kim Hughes, to DPW Director Scott McCarthy and his entire team, to our town administrator, who is here, Carol Brennan, and past administrator, David Nixon, to Berkshire Design for playing the long game with us, designing and redesigning and to Omasta, headed by a Hopkins alum, for the actual earth moving, construction, and finishing. Our fields look beautiful. To our facilities director, Jeff Mish. To our athletic director, Fred Siaglo, whose expertise and passion for athletics brought every deal, detail of these fields to life. Your skills came in clutch as we rounded home on this project. To Superintendent Annie McKenzie, I see you in the back. And Business Manager Chris Desjardins, whose unwavering support ensured that no obstacle would stand in our way. And finally, to Paul Pfeiffer, my friend and school committee liaison on this fields project, 
your leadership and fundraising acumen propelled this project forward. We couldn't have done it without you. At this time, I'd like to invite Paul up to share a few words of thanks and recognition to our monetary supporters. Paul. Thanks, Amira. Thanks, everybody, for coming out today. This is just uh, so gorgeous. It's um, couldn't have planned it better. When you think about baseball, when you think about America, this is really as good as it gets. I will say I joined uh, the school committee in 2016, and there were already plans, draft plans, for what this could look like. Uh, we, should, we should note the great work that had been done before by the trustees. Bill Wire, thank you for representing uh, uh, Mr. Earl. Back there someplace, there you are, John. Thank you all. Uh, your support uh, throughout this whole process, purchasing the land so we can develop it, was obviously a fundamental piece in making this all happen. For me, we were new uh, arrivals, uh, fairly new arrivals to the town by then. And uh, for us, sports meant a couple things. One, I had two boys in the school system who were uh, young athletes. So for me, it was a way for me to contribute to what they were interested in. Uh, and for us, our family sports has always been an important element, something that not just teaches leadership, uh, teaches those hard things, that those hard lessons that those things that are important in life take effort, they take grit, teach you how to lose with dignity and maybe more importantly, win with grace and humility. But sports also meant something else that was really important to us as the town. As, as new arrivals, it was our way of building friends, community, uh, many of whom I see in the stands and today. Folks that, for me, the, the fields won't just be the memories of the soccer games and the baseball and the state championships. Uh, it's also the hot dogs and the uh, hamburger flipping that we all did for the boosters. It was sitting on the sidelines, catching up with friends we hadn't seen in a while, it's waiting in the parking lot at night for the bus to come home from away games. Those are the fabric, uh, the, the element that build up a community and a society. And so for me, the fields aren't just that uh, place where we play sports, it's where we as a community come together to maintain those very important bonds. And so it was a vital piece when we started designing this, when we took it up back in 2016, took those early plans, dusted them off with Humera and Annie's leadership. We looked at, well, how do we make this not just for the Hopkins athletics, uh, but also for the community. So a, an important piece to us was to put this path that you see around here. And I'm so happy to say that every time I come here, I see somebody who's now watching the sporting event taking advantage of it. Because this isn't just a school for the students and the faculty, it's a school for the whole community. And of course, to get to this place, it took a community. So let me just acknowledge all the different folks and organizations, some of whom are here today, Contributed that without whom, just it's not hyperbolic to say this never would have happened. The financial support uh, was the only way that this uh, project uh, that had to happen in two phases could have been done. So there, there's some individual families, uh, the Tudrin family uh, who contributed, the Umberger family that contributed. And there's also families that contributed in recognition of those who have passed. So we have Donna Wilda, who uh, contributed in memory of her mother, Barbara. We have Teresa Warner, who contributed in memory of her father, Iggy Wiskevitz. And then Mary Lou Lorenza contributed in, in memory of her husband, Peter. We have local organizations that have contributed. East Hampton Savings Bank, Florence Savings Bank, uh, organizations that are represented here today. We have Steve Lewis Subaru, and I see Joe Clark and Ben Sullivan, who've been just wonderful, wonderful contributors to the whole Hadley School System. Their Share the Love program, I think this, the, their contribution to the fields was their third contribution to the school. Just exceptional, uh, exceptionally generous. We have the Helping Hearts for Hadley Schools, led by Stacy Mashinsky, Stacy Reed, who contributed. And then, of course, uh, we have the Board of Trustees that provided a source of contribution at a very vital time as we're moving to finish out one phase and move to the next. And then, of course, the 
biggest contributor is the community overall. Through the Community Preservation Act funds, EPA funds, Mary and the Keeley leadership recently on that, this just fundamentally would not have happened. We went to them several times. We made the community supported us through three separate donations to make this all work. So this isn't just a product for the community. It's a product of the community by the community. So let's give everybody a round of applause and very much appreciated for your support. Thank you. Let me pass it back over to you, Mara. So we thank the monetary supporters, the non-monetary supporters, and there's countless others who also contributed to making this possible. Too many to mention, too many to remember, two decades worth of people, uh, but know that your contributions are incredibly important and valuable and leave behind an important legacy. And it's with that good ancestor approach that we leave behind this legacy to our children and our children's children. And now, as we prepare to officially open these magnificent fields, didn't need that one, I'd like to take a moment to address the heart and soul of our athletic community, our student athletes. Today, as we stand on the threshold of this new era, I see in each of you the embodiment of determination, resilience, and teamwork. Your commitment to excellence both on and off the fields is a testament to the values that define our school. So to the seniors who will play their final high school games on this field, I say this, cherish every moment, play with passion, and leave it all on the diamond. And to the entire team, I challenge you to carry the torch of leadership with pride, knowing that you represent the best of Hopkins Academy. Now, as we prepare to cut the ribbon and usher in a new chapter in our school's history, I invite the varsity baseball team to lead the way. Gentlemen, it's your time to shine. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you all coming out. Have a great rest of your day. And the baseball game starts at 4 if you want to stick around. Good luck, folks. Good luck, gentlemen.